Hello you guys and welcome back to another episode of my kitchen organization series. Welcome if you're new, my name is Cindy from Inspiration by CP, where you can find home organization, cook with me, home decor, and much more. Please consider subscribing before you go. Today we are tackling my pantry, as you can see, is a small one with deep shelves and it can get a little challenging to know everything that you have because you can't see what's in the back. Today we're fixing that problem. These are the items that I purchased to organize my pantry. Most of the items are from Target and Amazon and some uh, from Ikea and Home Goods. I will leave all the links down below. As in any organization project, you want to remove everything in order to see what you have and to clean the area. This time I decided to do the upper level first and then continue to the lower level. Now that we have a clean sleigh, it's time to add your organization items to see what can fit. Here I'm checking how many mason jars I can fit and also how many on the anchor jars. So I can do six on the anchor and I can do like 24 on the mason jars to hold up all of my dry goods. And then on top, I am debating whether I should put this on this level or on the bottom because I want to do it I want to do all the um, snacks for the girls here and then on top it's better off to have baskets with handles that way it's easier to grab everything from the top a tip for you is kind of draw up your plan of what you want to put in containers or baskets and what product you need to have at eye level so here is my drawing. I have written down all my dry goods and in what containers I want them to be and the stuff that I need to buy that will make the whole process easier. So the top shelf will be for bag stock and this particular basket will hold all of my extra condiments. I recently did a spice drawer organization video. I will leave the link down below if you're interested. It's so satisfying to have all your spices on hand while you are cooking. I took a trip to Target and bought three of these one dollar jars to use it on the counter and then to use the smaller ones in my pantry. We all want a Pinterest inspired pantry but remember it needs to be functional. We can achieve that look when using similar containers and baskets. Also have a balance in what you have and clear containers and what look cluttered and not see-through baskets. These airtight containers are great to store cereal. I have them for years. It comes in a set of four from Amazon, so convenient for the whole family. This is my medicine cabinet and I decided to add my oils and vinegars to make it more accessible because it's next to my range. So I'm going to move everything up and then to have uh, my Lazy Susan on the first shelf. And this is how it turned out. I put my first aid bin up high. We don't use it on a regular basis, so it works. I can easily use a step stool.
I hope you get ideas from this to organize your pantry. Since I'm using my glass containers, I decided to put them up high away from my girl. These ones are from Ikea. I got this expandable three-tier rack to organize my cans. Before I used to have it in a basket, which was not practical at all. Now we'll be able to see what I have. To maximize the space, I will add my cereal containers in the front for a more aesthetic look. I ordered these great labels from Amazon to give my pantry a cute and cohesive look. This basket is for my pasta. I don't decant my pasta because I use the whole box all the time, except for lasagna. These metal bins labels are from Target. Another tip is to use a whiteboard to write your bag stock, especially if you have a deep pantry like me. Here's one last look at the pantry before the reveal. I watch you as you drive. Now here's the after. I really love how it turned out. I would love to tackle each space in my home and to take you all along with me so we can do this together. Please make sure to thumbs up if you enjoy home organization videos. I hope you got inspired with this video to tackle your pantry. Whether it's small, big, narrow, or deep, it doesn't matter. Having an organized kitchen will make cooking so much easier. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!